Are you looking for research in the behavioral sciences or about mental health issues? We'll use PsychInfo, a database curated by the American Psychological Association and an ideal source for behavioral sciences and related fields. We can use a variety of advanced approaches in PsychInfo to help focus our search and generate relevant results on our topic. To get started, we'll convert our topic into key terms to maximize the relevancy of our search results. Say we're interested in the efficacy of using cognitive behavioral therapy to treat children with ADHD. Where cognitive behavioral therapy, or CBT, is the intervention, the children are the population, and ADHD is the condition. Taking the ADHD concept first, we'll break the concept into usable terms in the database. In the first search field of PsychInfo, we'll enter ADHD or quote-unquote attention deficit to cover the various ways ADHD might be discussed in the research. In our search strategy, the or will broaden our concept, the quotes instruct the database to keep two or more words together. Next, we'll work out the different iterations of cognitive behavioral therapy. We'll type in the next search field, CBT or quote-unquote cognitive T-H-E-R-A-P asterisk or quote-unquote cognitive behavioral T-H-E-R-A-P asterisk. The asterisks tell the database to find different iterations for the root of a word. For example, T-H-E-R-A-P asterisk will find therapy or therapies or therapeutic. Make sure that the two search fields are joined by an AND in the drop-down menu next to the second search field. The AND between the two search fields will ensure that both concepts are found together in the results. For the child concept, we'll use the age group filter below the PsychInfo search boxes. We'll select childhood, birth to 12 years. The database will now return results tagged with that particular age group. Now, with our search strategy in place, we'll select search. When the results appear, change the sorting to relevance. Select peer reviewed to focus on scholarly articles. We'll also use the timeline to focus on articles published within the last 10 years. From the results list, we can then peruse the article's abstract using the Quick Look function. And if we'd like to view the full text, we can either select the Find It at BC button or select the Full Text link. Thanks for taking the time to watch this tutorial. If you have any questions, please reach out to us at library.bc.edu ask dash a dash librarian.